On the 12th of February, we remember St. Julian the Hospitaller. The legend of St. Julian was among the most popular stories of the Middle Ages and led to churches and hospitals being dedicated to him throughout Europe. Despite his popularity, however, we know nothing certain about him, including the dates in which he lived. St. Julian's story has inspired people for generations, and his legend made him famous as a patron saint of hospitality and entertainment workers. The story goes that he was a nobleman, and while he was out hunting one day, he received a vision that warned that he would kill his parents. He was horrified by the idea and secretly moved far away. He came into the service of a king and grew to be a trusted advisor, marrying a wealthy widow and gaining knighthood. His parents set out to find him, travelling throughout the land. While Julian was out on a hunting party, they came upon the castle where he lived and inquired about him. His wife told them that Julian was out hunting, but offered her bed to them for the night. When Julian returned that night and found two bodies in his bed, he assumed that his wife was being unfaithful, drew his sword and struck both bodies. His wife had been in the church saying her night prayers and Julian met her when she returned. He was devastated to learn that his vision had come true. He resolved to leave and give himself to the service of others until he gained assurance from God that he had performed a fitting penance for his sin. His wife joined him and they travelled until they came to a river crossing. There, they built a hospice to welcome weary and sick travellers and Julian assisted people in crossing the river. After many years, the legend continues, in the middle of one night, Julian heard a voice asking for help to cross the river. He found a leper nearly frozen to death and helped him into the hospice to warm him and give him food. Seeing that the man would soon die from his exposure, Julian gave him the comfort of his own bed. In the morning, Julian woke up to find the man, now shining in heavenly light, ascending to heaven. As he vanished from sight, he told Julian that God had accepted his penance and that God would reward Julian and his wife for the care they showed to those in need. Devotion to St. Julian started in the Maltese Islands in the 15th century after the discovery of his relics in the city of Maserata. It was introduced by the noble family of Diastas, high-ranking in Malta at the time who had strong connections with the Bishop of Maserata. St. Julian is patron saint of travellers, ferry workers, hotel keepers, childless people, carnival workers, fiddlers, jugglers, wandering musicians and pilgrims. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us all together pray. O God, who alone are holy and without whom no one is good, Command, we pray, through the intercession of Blessed Julian, that we be numbered among those who do not deserve to be deprived of your glory. Jesus, infinite healer, teach me to visit and comfort the sick. Help me always to see you in them and not count the cost. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.